The flow past the bluff body can be a complicated flow situation. At relatively large Reynolds number, an alternating vortex shading takes place in the wake. With the Reynolds number definition being shown here. Around the bluff body, the separation point shift forwards and backward alternately. This oscillation causes vortices to be shed alternately from one side to the other of the bluff body, resulting in a pattern of vortices rotating in opposite direction behind the body. The movement of the separation point causes an oscillating pressure at the cylinder surface, which in turn may cause structural vibration transverse to the free stream. The characteristic frequency of the vortex shedding is typically expressed in a dimensionless form as a stroal number. The following experiments illustrate a range of flow situation on vortex shedding behind bluff body. A bluff body in shallow free surface flow, self-sustained oscillation of a pendulum in a direction normal to the flow, on a square cylinder in a wind tunnel. An example is the vortex shedding downstream of a bluff body in shallow free surface flow. In this photograph, dye injection in the wake of a C-shaped cylinder highlights the vortex shedding. The vortices are shed alternately, resulting in a pattern of large-scale vortices in a down in downstream wake. For this experiment, the observation of vortex shedding indicated dimensionless frequency, the strand number equal 0 0.45. This movie illustrate a well-organized von Kármán strip of vortices behind the C-shaped cylinder in a shallow free surface flow, for which the Reynolds number is 18,000. A second experiment is conducted in a water flume. A circular cylinder is attached at the lower end of a pendulum, with the cylinder submerged in water and some vortex shedding is observed in the wake of the cylinder. For a range of flow conditions, the interaction between the vortices and cylinder induces a transverse oscillation of the cylinder as the vortices are shed on one side and then the other of the cylinder. These oscillations are self-sustained. Under the right flow condition, the cylinder can oscillate for days unless the flow condition are changed or the pendulum is physically blocked. In this movie, the cylinder is at rest initially. Once free, the cylinder starts to oscillate until it reaches a quasi-stationary mode of self-sustained oscillations. The second movie shows the self-sustained oscillations of the cylinder Dye injection upstream of the cylinder help to illustrate the flow around the cylinder as well as the strong turbulent mixing in the wake of the oscillating cylinder. Another experiment may be conducted in a wind tunnel with a square cylinder. For this experiment, the upstream wind speed is 15 meters per second with low inflow turbulence. The pressure distribution around the cylinder are recorded at several angles of incidence, between 0 to 45 degrees, and smoke injection is used for flow visualization. The vortex shading motion is illustrated in this movie. The wind flow direction is from left to right, and the smoke injection enables to visualize the vortices shed alternately from one side to the other resulting in a pattern of vortices rotating in opposite direction behind the cylinder. The instantaneous lift force is calculated by integrating the instantaneous pressure measurement collected at 600 Hz around the cylinder outer parameter. Typical instantaneous lift force data are shown in this figure for 5 degrees of incidence. All the data show large fluctuation of the forces of the lift force which are directly caused by the vortex shedding. The transverse pressure force oscillation is illustrated in the following graph, presenting the histogram of instantaneous lift force on the square cylinder for 5 degrees of incidence. One note the bimodal distribution of the lift force, shifting from a positive to a negative mode, vice versa. 
the vortex shading behind a bluff body is a classical illustration of form drag on wake flow. It can generate some fascinating flow patterns such as the front cam administrator vortices. A basic understanding of the fluid dynamics processes is critical in many real world applications, including engineering infrastructures. Both are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist.